All right, so we have now cranial num nerve number four, which is the trochlear. trochlear. And what happens with the trochlear if we go back, because uh, you know, in the ocular motor, we sort of encompassed all, but here's where you're gonna start with the trochlear, okay? The patient's eye is gonna follow you. Your finger, or whatever, in this case, I'm using a pen light, your finger is gonna be 50 degrees, but it's gonna be adducted, okay? So it'll be out here. So I'm gonna ask you to follow it, and I'm going to come in, and I'm gonna go down. Okay, that's, that's gonna be the superior rectus that's part of that up-down type process. And so it's adduction, you start from out here, and you come in and you go down. And remember, when we test it ocular motor, we can test all of them at the same time. So we can start up here, we can start here, we can go up, we can go out. Okay, we can come in, and we can come down. We can do the same thing on this side, out, abductions, come in and go down, which is catching that rectus, and it's also catching, you know, that, um, the opposite, the other side, okay, for um, the adduction coming in, the way we did on that side. Okay, so, so that would be, so if the eyes move in and then down, okay, it's normal. Okay, but if impairments, you know, if they're looking and they're having problems, there's a few things that you would note. One is you could have double vision. And see, that's the problem that we're looking for. We don't want movement because if, if the eye, if you looked at the eyeball and you took a rubber band and put it here, a rubber band and put it here, here, and here on all four sides, and there was one of those bands was not holding it straight, then the eye is going to move. If one side eye moves and the other side is holding tight, that's when you can develop double vision, okay? Yeah. So that's one of it. And what they're gonna have problems is, is they're gonna have problems with things like, like reading. They're also gonna have problems with, the worst one is descending the stairs, which could be a big problem, mm -hmm. okay, for the trochlear nerve. Especially if, if they can't look down immediately. You got it. But, yeah. But for, you know, and just to add on to that for the ocular motor nerve trial, I don't, we meant, I don't think we mentioned that for that one, but that would obviously lead to double vision as well if you have a palsy. Exactly. Effect. Because, you know, if they're not going to be able to adduct the eye, if the eyes aren't moving together, um, then that would definitely result in diplopia as well. All right, cool. So the next time we'll come back, we'll do the trigeminal. Boy, that one's loaded. That's cranial nerve number five.